science explorers, it's Justin again. We're back in the savannah, and Mia and I have found the source of the loud trumpet sound. They're coming from the largest mammal on land, the elephant. The big cats we saw last time showed us the value of blending in by camouflaging in the grassland. But the savannah is also home to elephants and giraffes, two of the Earth's biggest animals. How can being big and standing out help some animals survive in the savannah? Let's find out. These elephants definitely don't blend into their landscape like the big cats do. Which special traits of these elephants pop out to you? Elephants are recognized for their impressively large bodies with huge ears, long noses, and white tusks. But what could be the reasons behind these remarkable characteristics? These two are grazing on grass, like we saw wildebeest and zebra doing before. What kind of diet does that mean they have? Right, they're herbivores. But these elephants are much bigger than the other grazers. I wonder if they eat food that other herbivores can't. Whoa, this one's breaking branches off of a tree. I think it's making a meal out of it. So if elephants can also eat parts of trees, like dry bark and branches, then there's no shortage of food for them, even during the dry season. That way they can maintain their massive size with an equally massive diet. Oh, that nose isn't just for trumpeting. These elephants are using their elongated noses or trunks to get water. And they need a lot of it to stay hydrated here. But it doesn't stay in their trunk, right? I know I hate getting water up my nose, so they must not be drinking through their noses. It looks more like they're using their trunks to transfer lots of water into their mouths at once. Their big stomachs can hold about 50 gallons of water at once. So having a long drink helps them stay hydrated for quite a while. Their trunk works like a straw to help them guzzle water down quicker. They keep flapping their big ears around. What do you think that's about? Oh, thanks, Mia. That feels really good right now. Oh, I see what you're saying. They're using their ears to fan themselves off. The fanning uses a lot of energy, though, and relying on that could just make them hotter. I wonder if there's something else to their ears' size. Mia, could you get a close-up of one of these elephants' ears? See those veins running through their ears? Those are blood vessels. And because the skin here is so thin, body heat can easily escape through those wide, flat spaces. So these ears serve as a double air conditioning system. Oh no, do you see those lions in the grass? This elephant had better watch out. Wait, does it look like the lions are actually afraid of the elephant? Yup, there they go. The elephant scared them off. Why do you think elephants aren't afraid of these predators? Exactly, their size. Elephants are so massive that even the biggest of the big cats rarely see them as prey. Not to mention those big tusks are pretty threatening and could seriously injure anything that invades its personal space. Elephant tusks are actually enlarged teeth. They can use them for all kinds of things, like digging holes, scraping bark off of trees, and warding off predators like those lions. Ooh, look over here! Another group of huge animals is coming through. It's the tallest mammals on land, giraffes. These giraffes are feeding on the leaves of this tree. They must be herbivores too. Considering what we've uncovered about the size of elephants, and what you can observe from these giraffes, what advantages could giraffes have in their habitat? Pause the video now and make a prediction in your field notes. After you're done, we'll take a closer look at this amazing animal. 
Look at how this giraffe's long neck helps it reach the highest tree branches where the leaves haven't been picked over. Since giraffes are the tallest animals here, I don't think any other herbivores can get to those leaves. This means they always have plenty to eat and can keep their large bodies full of food. Look at the way they bend their necks down to drink water. Hmm, do you think a predator could sneak up on them while the giraffes are preoccupied? Luckily, giraffes live in herds, so another giraffe can use its height to keep watch, like a lookout tower. Like elephants, their size makes them less appealing to predators. However, young, weak, or distracted giraffes could still be at risk for becoming prey. Do you think giraffes have any defenses against predators? How can they use their unique bodies to protect themselves? Giraffes have an interesting pattern in their fur. I think we've seen something like this before. Can you think of another animal that has a pattern like this one? Yes, it looks just like the camouflage pattern on leopards. But leopards blend into their tree canopy habitat to sneak up on their prey. How could this camouflage help a giraffe? Giraffes spend much of their time in trees too, eating. Instead of hiding from their prey, they use their camouflage to disguise themselves from their predators while they munch away. Giraffes also use their strength and height to decide their place in a herd. The strongest and tallest male giraffe usually ends up as the leader of the group. Since we've been in the savanna, we've seen so many incredible ways that animals survive here. Whether it's their size, camouflage, or other special tools, animals are able to thrive in some of the most challenging environments. We've seen how they survive and defend themselves. But how are they able to thrive in such an intense environment? What other special traits might they have that help them live here? Let's investigate that next time. Thanks for joining us today. Remember, our wildest discoveries are yet to come. Until our next journey, science explorers. Hey, hey.